Well, thank you so much. I uh, am very impressed. Uh, I, I, when I was a sophomore in high school, I could not stand up in front of a crowd like this with cameras and do what you just did and do it so articulately. Um, I am constantly in awe of you and your peers and what you've accomplished in the face of really enormous challenges over the last few years, adversity that uh, my generation never experienced at your age, and I really couldn't be prouder to stand here with you today. Uh, I want to thank Morton West High School Principal uh, Christy Cavanaugh, the District Superintendent Tim Truesdale, State Superintendent Carmen Ayala, and of course, uh, English teacher David Lopez, who you're going to hear from a little bit later, and, and all of our Morton West educators and students, thank you for hosting me today. Uh, let me also recognize the elected officials uh, who are sitting behind me. Uh, they've joined us, and I want to include especially our uh, leader in the Illinois State Senate, uh, Kimberly Lightford, the majority leader, Senator Karina Villa, uh, representatives Will Davis and Mike Zaleski, uh, and also I understand that our newly elected IFT president, uh, Dan Montgomery, is here today. Uh, please give everyone that I just mentioned a, a round of applause. So, you know, to say that these last two and a half years have been difficult for our teachers and our students would be an understatement. Uh, what now seems like lifetimes ago, our educators in Illinois and throughout the nation had to navigate the sudden transition to online learning, uh, all while working to give their students the support and resources they needed to not only thrive but to survive. Uh, schools were closed for the first two and a half months of the pandemic, and that was the end of the 2019-2020 uh, school year. And then after the summer of 2020, when schools made decisions for themselves about how and when to safely and yet cautiously reopen their doors, teachers faced enormous obstacles. Some students were falling behind in their learning goals. Some students had suffered insurmountable grief and trauma losing parents, friends, and loved ones. Meanwhile, school attendance was challenged as students and teachers did what they needed to do to stay safe and to stay healthy. In that uncertain environment, our young people endured hours of Zoom classes behind a computer screen, navigated changing family dynamics, and missed special milestones in their young lives. They were coming of age during a time of overwhelming anxiety, and it has tested this generation like no other in my lifetime. One could argue it's a miracle that our state and our nation uh, has seen academic advances in any way, especially the state of Illinois, uh, in the face of this adversity, uh, yet it's not a miracle at all. It's testament to the hard work and dedication of the teachers, students, and parents throughout Illinois who rose to the challenge of these unprecedented times despite the odds against them. The watchword that applies so perfectly to the results we are announcing today is resilience. Every year our state releases an annual Illinois report card on our public education system, and this year's report card shows great promise. Pessimists take note. Despite all the challenges, Illinois is defying expectations with so many positive developments. Every single demographic group in Illinois experienced accelerated growth in both English language arts and math, outpacing pre-pandemic levels. Our high school students also notched their highest graduation rate in over a decade, largely driven by black and Hispanic students. For example, here, and you heard this from the principal, here at Morton West High School, from 2019 to 2022, graduation rates increased by more than five percentage points, from 80% to 85%. That is tremendous progress. We also saw an optimistic development in our elementary schools. Data recently released in the nation's report card issued by the National Assessment of Educational Progress uh, says that Illinois students scored above the national average in both reading and math in grades four and grade eight. 
Uh, while students around the nation experienced setbacks because of the pandemic, Illinois students held steady in their reading skills. This is yet another indication that Illinois is on the right path to learning renewal post-pandemic. And students continued on a positive career trajectory. More students took career and technical education or dual credit courses than ever before, setting them up for the jobs of today and tomorrow. And the 2022 data shows historic highs in college and career readiness, with the percentage of students needing to enroll in remedial classes at Illinois community colleges hitting an all-time low. Meanwhile, Illinois teachers, Illinois teachers defied the odds too. In other states, teachers are leaving the profession in droves. Despite the challenges of being frontline workers during the pandemic, our teachers bucked that trend. Our teacher workforce is growing, adding more than 2,500 full-time teachers, including more than 500 black and Hispanic teachers. And just as critical, Illinois teacher retention hit a nine-year high, with more than 87% of teachers returning to the same school year to year. While the rest of the nation struggles to address their teacher shortages, Illinois is, once again, rising above the rest with simultaneously strengthening and diversifying our educator pipeline. Our successes in learning renewal have a great deal to do with the distinguished and dedicated efforts of our educators. But I also want to credit our Illinois P20 Council's Learning Renewal Resource Guide, a national model to increase the speed of learning recovery in the wake of COVID-19. The guide has provided a plan for out-of-classroom learning experiences like high-impact tutoring and summer school, new ways to attract high-quality educators, and a guide for improving the mental health of our youth. We have equipped our schools in every corner of the state with the financial and educational resources they need to accelerate academic recovery. We are able to do that thanks to an investment of $7.8 billion in federal and state pandemic relief funds to school districts. And the P20 Council's Learning Guide has given schools best practices that ISBE, the Illinois State Board of Education, has shared all across the state. At the same time, ISBE has invested more than $100 million in mental health community partnership grants, supporting the well-being of our staff and students by establishing regional social-emotional learning hubs and helping school districts adopt a trauma-responsive approach, informed by experts at the Lurie Children's Hospital. The recovery from learning loss is not over. We're still in recovery. Quite the contrary, chronic uh, absenteeism is still a substantial problem here in Illinois and also throughout the nation, especially among historically underserved and vulnerable students. That's why ISBE has dedicated millions of dollars to combat chronic absenteeism through counseling, tutoring, credit recovery, uh, home visits, mentoring, and transportation. And that's why the 2022 Illinois Report Card features a brand new uh, data set uh, it's an element called the Equity Journey Continuum to help districts track their progress toward closing gaps in student achievement and opportunities. So we will keep working to build an education system that works for everyone, coming up with new ideas, with programs and investments to help students of every background. To the educators who have joined us here today, you are heroes. You really are heroes. Yeah. I know that you've faced many trials and tribulations these past few years, and you've continued to put your all into supporting our students day in and day out. You are molding the next generation of great minds in Illinois, and I am very proud of the work and commitment that you've put forward. To the extraordinary students in our state, your generation is imbued with the kind of resilience that many never have been imbued with in their lifetimes. A resilience that you've had to develop to get through each day, no matter the obstacles. It hasn't been easy, but you've done it. And so when tough moments come later in your lives, 
remember what you've managed through already and remember that your state is rooting for you. We are really cheering you on. To, yeah, let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> to our parents and families and communities, I know that with resilient students that uh, work this hard, with educators who persevere in adversity, with schools that have kept our communities safer, Illinois' best days are ahead of us.